What's up guys, I'm Sally. And I'm Ed. And today, we're going on a road trip. Over the next four days, we're gonna be driving from Sydney to Adelaide, and we're gonna be taking you guys along with us to show you some of the best spots along the way. Previously on this road trip, we left the hustle and bustle of Sydney behind, making our way inland towards the Australian outback. After a quick stop in Narandra, we headed further inland to the Mungo National Park, where we camped under the stars, made some new friends, and visited the site where the oldest indigenous Australian remains were found. I'm on top of the world! <laughs> Next, we headed further west to the historic town of Mildura, our last stop before we reach Adelaide. So we actually stayed here last night because the weather was a little bit crazy and we just thought, you know, camping in the rain is not so fun. So we're actually in one of the big four holiday parks here in Mildura. And we stayed in one of their two bedroom cabins. I'm just gonna quickly show you around. It was $140 for the night. So it's got a dining room table in here. We have a couch. A fully equipped kitchen. We've got microwave, an oven, and a fridge. In here, everything you could possibly want. Cups, plates, and then, of course, bathroom, shower, toilet, and, of course, some bedrooms as well. One. And this bedroom's cool because it's got the two bunk beds as well as a single bed. So you could actually sleep five people in here. So I didn't actually realize this down here in Mildura, but they have these old paddle steamers that are, you know, 140, 150 years old, and you can go on them and do river cruises. Unfortunately, don't have time today. We need to get to Adelaide, but I think if I if I had the time to stay here for a day or two, there's like winery cruises, dinner cruises, day cruises, lunch cruises. What an incredible experience. left the town of Mildura and we're heading to Adelaide. It was actually our last stop before we head to Adelaide or before we get to like the Barossa Valley which is the final stop on this leg of the road trip and uh, we've kind of made this detour along the way to this town called Wentworth and the reason we've stopped here is because it's where the Murray and the Darling River meet. We've got the Murray and the Darling and then they meet right here. We're in the middle on this island going for a bit of a bushwalk and then it's pretty cool because on Literally on either side of us, we have two different rivers. And I think when we get to the end of the walk, that's where we're gonna see where the rivers actually meet. So these are actually two of the most important rivers in Australia, the Murray and the Darling, and here they meet. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. driving stretcheroo. Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah, really good. I had no idea this was here. So we're at the Perry Sand Hills, which is obviously some sand hills, but it's this really dark, deep sort of red sand, which is really interesting. So you can tell like the age of the sand by its color. And like this red, reddy brown sediment uh, essentially just means it's really, really, really old. I'm not sure how old exactly, but that's like the older of the sediment. So it was kind of like, you know, not looking back in time, but it's just interesting how you see these like little gleams of history like throughout your road trip. Um, you know, Red Hill there, Red Hill there, and you just know that that's like, that's where the history is. Super interesting. 
you what's particularly fascinating about these sand hills is you're driving along and everything's really flat and there's not really much around and then like BAM! Red sand hills. Also it's like the most perfect day ever. Look at those beautiful clouds. I'm gonna go up there, see what's on the other side. Research and it turns out that this whole area, not the sand hills, but this whole area surrounding the sand hills is really prone to flooding. And so what the early settlers and uh, the indigenous population of this area would do is in times of flood they would actually retreat to the sand hills to sort of you know stay safe, to keep everything nice and protected. It is just like it's absolutely incredible. Like, no idea these are here. This is such like a lucky find. It's these kind of gems that you discover when you're traveling that really make it special. It's awesome. with a hint of chocolatey notes and cinnamon. Wine turns. She's lying. <laughs> she knows nothing about wine. Yeah. Nothing. 